welcome to episode 8 of Survivor with Preston North End. We have reached the final day of the championship season and it's all on the line for us today. We need to beat Rotherham to avoid relegation to League One. Let's see those results we've had since we've last been together. Because following defeat against Coventry, we narrowly lost at home to Crystal Palace. We had almost an equaliser within our grasp. Cameron Archer had a goal ruled out just before the end of the game. Crystal Palace went two goals up before Brad Potts pulled one back as we were beaten by Premier League bound Crystal Palace. And we were unlucky away to Reading as well, although we didn't have a shot on target in the game. They won by a goal to nil as they secured a playoff place. We need to take a trip to the medical center as well, because as you will have noticed, Freddie Woodman wasn't in goal for those two games. He has been out injured with a knee ligament injury, not expected to be back until tomorrow. Ironically, he is not going to play today. It's too risky to put him in, unfortunately. No Ali McCann either. No Andrew Hughes as we go into the final day. We'll take a look at the team shortly. So here is the championship table going into the final day of the season. Now, a point would be good enough to keep us up. But that would need Derby to not win their game. We'll take a look at who Derby and Millwall are taking on in a second. So yeah, we need to win. We haven't won in four games. It is the wrong time to be doing it. But goal difference may well be a factor going into this one. Let's take a look at the final day fixtures. So all three sides looking to avoid the drop are at home. Derby are at home to already playoff bound Norwich City. Millwall are at home to Hull. We are at home to Rotherham. So you would expect that Norwich will beat Derby, but they may rest a few looking at the playoffs. Hull is a little bit more tricky to call with Millwall. Obviously, they've got nothing to play for Hull City, but Millwall need to win and hope that the other two of us lose. Our job is simple. Win by any means necessary. So here are the two starting lineups. Forget what I said about Freddie Woodman. We are going for it today. So he is starting in goal. Kessler Hayden is in the team as well. Story, Hutchinson, Cunningham, Whiteman, Brown, Sanchez, Onama, Johnson with Cameron Archer leading the line. Tariq John Jules is on the bench. Hasn't played particularly well recently. We will see what he can do from there. Johansson starts in goal for Rotherham. Kios, Morrison, Harding, Fleming, Webster, Wiles, Rathbone, Fatou, Paz with Obenny leading the line. Jordan Hugill is on the bench. Obviously a former member of this parish. Come on. Last day of the championship season. We need a result. We need three massive points. We cannot rely on Norwich City to help us out. It may not happen. We need Millwall to lose as well. Come on. A nice early goal would be fantastic as Sanchez has picked up the ball for the kickoff. He's running towards goal, to be fair to him. Can he find a teammate? Can we strike really early? No. Sanchez. Goes all the way back towards Freddie Woodman. He will not thank you for that. The risk. It's a big risk. But it's a risk worth taking on a day like today. There are no more games after this one. If he has to come off, so be it. There's the Hayden. But finds Whiteman. Through to Sanchez. Will he find a teammate? We'll find Whiteman again. Kessler Hayden. Get that cross in. Goes inside the penalty area. Goes towards the edge. Oh, saved by Johansson. Better though. It's a good start. Very good start. Right? Early encouragement. Very early. Come on. Has picked it up. On towards Og Benny. What will he do with it? He's got a man inside the penalty area. He's got one on the edge of the box. There's a man gone down inside the penalty area. And Freddie Woman's palmed it away. Do not need a defensive calamity today, please. One thing I don't want. Hull lead Millwall by a goal to nil early doors. Behind now, aren't they? Okay, they're catching up now. Two goals for Hull. Wild through. Fafati is in behind. Uh, it's offside. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Don't do that. 
Yeah, so Hayden with the throw. In towards Onoma. On towards Sanchez, but Fleming has picked that up. And back towards his goalkeeper. Johansson's dawdling. Oh, almost dawdled too much. Harding. Trying to find Kios. Got to come across and help. Kios comes inside to Wiles. Looking through. Frog Benny Woodman is out and out quickly. Brown. Plays it on to Johnson. On to Alan Brown again. Don't dawdle on the ball. Can't afford to dawdle. I don't know why you were dawdling. She could have just passed it on. Fatu. Will he find a cross into the centre? He does towards Pez at the far post. And it's snuck in. Damn it. Rotherham lead just before half time. And that comes from Alan Brown. That comes from the captain, that one. But rate them. They seem to like it. Nearly half an hour gone. Rotherham lead by a goal to nil. As the trap door starts to creak open. Got to do something about it. Cunningham with the throw. In towards Johnson. Cunningham again. Into Brown. You need to make up for it. Norwich lead. That's what we need. But we need an equaliser here. But it's saved. Here's the Hayden with the free kick. Plays it into Brown. Finds Sanchez inside the penalty area. Will he get a shot away? He should score from there. Fires it in. Second goal of the season for him. We are level just before half time. And that's what we needed. Derby are losing. Millwall are losing. We are level. We need to probably go on and win the game, though, right? We can't rely on just keeping hold of this. 1-1. One, one. Bet he wasn't going to miss that. Great. Two minutes of added time coming at the end of the first half. Nor Norwich have a second. As the ball comes into the area. Kios tries to head it away. Gets it back into danger. Rathbone clears it, though. Whiteman. Oh, no, don't lose it there. For goodness sake. No, 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 no. Not like this. Challenge him. Bring him down. Take him out. There we go. We will find Sanchez instead. Find Brown. Whiteman. Sanchez. Will he find a cross into the centre? It's a good run from him. Josh Oliver's unmarked and he's put it over the bar. And that is half time. 1-1 one, one at the break. And we've had the better of it, to be fair. Let's have a look at the latest scores just to confirm everything for you. Down the bottom. But we're staying up on goal difference as it stands. And they've had a man sent off, Derby. So they're not coming back from that, I don't think. So we just need to hang on to what we have here. Right? Don't lose faith. We've created chances. We have. Absolutely, we've created chances. We've just got to put another one in the onion bag, please. For the love of God. So 10-man derby, they're not coming back from 2-0 down against Norwich. I would be very surprised if that happens. So our destiny now in our own hands. Got to win the second half. The ball goes through to Josh Onoma. He's inside the penalty area and he's fired it up for the bar. <laughs> Calm and composed, please. I realise that is rich coming from me. Because I am very much... Less than calm and composed. I'll be very happy. Third goal for Norwich. That's over now. All about what happens here. Has been from the start. Into Wiles. Looking over the top. That's a good ball out to Paz. He comes inside the penalty area. No, 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 no. No, do, do not ruin my day. Might even bring on Liam Lindsay. You know, We might go five at the back. <laughs> we might just try and close the door on him. Not a bad suggestion. Not a bad shout. Thinking on my feet. Let's do it. Let's go five at the back. Let's just completely come off what we need to do. So Daniel Johnson is going to be the man that's going to come off. Liam Lindsay is going to come on. Cunningham can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can do that. Okay. Central three. Kessler Hayden will like it as well because he can attack. I expect Cunningham doesn't like it too much. Tell you what, you can come off as well then. Bobby Brady will come off. He likes it. And then we'll go Josh Onoma out on the left. What we have, we hold, right? From here. Less dramatic, I know. Fourth goal for Norwich. Nice to see, isn't it? As Millwall could turn it all round, and that would leave egg on our faces, but I'm fairly comfortable. We'll be all right from here. Round into Brady. It's whether we can win the game or not. Finish on a high note. 
That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hutchinson. Plays it across into Brown. Looks through for Sanchez on the left-hand side now. Hits it straight to the keeper. That's more like it. The shot he had in the first half, firing it into the net. That's not what I'm used to seeing. Lindsay with the free kick. Go short into Brown. We can race through the second half. 3-0 to Hull City now. Everything's going our way. It was a nervous start. When you go a goal down, it is always nervous. The job is not done yet. It's not over. We still need a point from this game. Brown looks for Archer. Go on, Cameron. He's throwing on goal. Can he finish it, Cameron Archer? Yes, he can. Preston lead by two goals to one. Salvation is about to arrive. Deep Dale will be going mental. Survival is in our sights. Cameron Archer with the second goal. Lovely finish beyond Johansson. 2-1 Preston. We've turned it round. And maybe we should have played five at the back all along. Maybe. Right, we are into the final 15 minutes. We are going to make another couple of changes. Because Alan Brown has run his race in the centre of the park. So Brad Potts is going to come on for him. And we're going to take off Josh Onima. And we are going to bring on Tariq John Jules. Morrison sends the ball long into the area. Obviously, it's not over yet. Rotherham could stage a miraculous recovery. As Jordan Hugill heads it down. Kessler Hayden gets it clear. Jordan Story comes away with the ball. Cousins will pick it up, though. Into Webster. Onto Fatty. Looking over the top. So Jordan Hugill is in behind. Will he finish it? No, Freddie Wilbur with the save. It was the right decision putting him in goal. Got to see this out, though. Nine minutes plus added time to go. The ball comes into the area. Whiteman heads it away. Woodman sending it long down the field. Harding wins the header this time. Plays it across into Brammel. For two. On to Webster. Looking over the top for Jordan Hugill. He's got the header on goal. Freddie Woodman. Calm and composed. Look like they've gone to a back five. Fair enough. They've gone exactly the same as we have. Hutchinson heads it clear. Still alive. Got to get out there quickly. Cousins. Going towards the back post. It's off the bar. Oh, it's over the bar. It's over the bar. Fine. It's fine. Bit of time wasting. Because we have got all the time we need now. We've got the result we need at this point. As Paz has gone through. It's 2-2. Two -two. We relax too early. Rotherham. Oh, it won't count. Three. Is he mild offside? Oh, it's tight. I've seen tighter. Four minutes of added time. Race through them. One last thing to do. And survival in the championship is ours. Not by the skin of our teeth. We've had a bit of help today. But we have done the job we needed to do. Preston have survived. Final day drama again. As Borg Sanchez and Cameron Archer wins the game to keep us up. So Norwich City declared at four in the end. Hull City put five past Millwall in the finish. Two goals in stoppage time, compounding the misery at the den. As we are above the dotted line by two. And frankly, that's all we needed today. We just needed a win. We had some help. Granted, obviously a red card for Derby completely ruins that game for them. And they have gone down, as have Millwall, as have Portsmouth. Two survivals in the bag. Where will we end up? Find out next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you where our next adventure begins next time. Goodbye.